Hi everybody, I'm back, and this is my last video for the day. I think you're only allowed to upload three videos a day, and the one that I just watched, I was like mortified, dozing off. That's how tired I am, so thank goodness only seven people have seen it, eight reviews. So forgive me, I deleted that. Yeah, just very tired, so not good to send that out. So what I'm going to do, instead of doing my... Uh, rants and mixing them up with my favorites. What I'm going to do is finish my Lush review. Um, I have so many Lush products. I need to get these reviewed and get them so everybody's seen them and put them away because I'm trying to get press boxes right now. So I slap my cross self across the face, got some coffee, and yeah. But I could see my head going down like this is not good. Can not fall asleep during a video. Anyway, so let's start over. Need more coffee. Um, so yeah, let me, um, let's get going. So on the floor here, we have a ginormous amount of bath products. So first of all, I'm going to start with this. I know that this is all for my new subscribers. I know all of my old subscribers have seen this. I have new products, old products, crazy products. Just absolutely insane. So, I'm the Tickled Pink. So here are all the, I love the Christmas ones. These are the um, Golden Fairy ones. And I love I love the new the new launch from last Christmas, how they're kind of golden. They're just really amazing. But with a jetted tub, you have to be very careful. As a matter of fact, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna go take a jetted tub and I will film um I'll do a bath cocktail and I'm gonna use one of these. Um it's just really hard because you cannot use for bubble bars many of anything or it just overflows the ceiling I'm not kidding you so these are from last Christmas I think this is their best product that they've had um, for this pro for this item um, they smell like candy what is it the snow fairy they smell just like snow, snow fairy and just like bubble gum. It only takes in a jetted tub. You can um, either wave it through or let the water run under it, under it. Or what I'll do is fill the tub and let the jets hit the jets and then you know put it next to a jet and it, it will go nuts versus cracking it off. It just goes, it's too much. So there's one, two, three. We don't fall over so yeah this is part two of all of my lush products um, I'm working on getting a press box I don't know if that's the one I got so these are the older um, magic fairy wands um, so yeah it's great absolutely crazy um, here's a flamingo I've not tried this yet. It's so cute. It's pink. It has a very sweet smell. Um, so yeah, I will I will do make sure that I blog this. So I've got one, two, three, there's six of these. And that's why I have them in a basket um, sitting on the edge of our edge of our tub. Here are two bubble beards. Never tried these. These smell more patchouli-ish which is not my favorite scent but they need to be used so yeah they're more for little kids where they can you know like this anyway so yeah um, there's that move my mouse over okay then we have a golden mum this is a mum the mum bubble bar yeah so this is from mother's day this thing goes crazy too. That's one thing I do not. That's one thing that I have problems with the, uh, a jetted tub is the bubble bars. You guys know how much I love bubble bars. And it's really frustrating. You have to be very careful with how much you put in. Here is um, one of these that came out last Christmas. You can see I only used about that much. 
and it was for probably four baths and it went crazy it went absolutely crazy I had I had bubbles everywhere so yeah you have to be very careful with the bubble bars bubble bars now these are from FCS um, this is from the movie Steel Magnolias it's like a cake pop not quite sure what it does um, doesn't look like it would be a bubble bar but we shall see and then here is just a soap soap on a stick really cute looks like a sucker this is from FCS also okay and then we have here we have tons of these on your body um, I will go through all of these individually I'm going to put this in a separate container these are tiny, tiny, tiny little um, cupcakes and stuff like that. So, and then the last product in here, these, I love them. You can leave them in the pouch, and these make your, your water really soft. They're not bath blasters, they're creamers, bath creamers. And this is not from Lush, this is from um, bombyourbody.com. So, let me put all these back in. We have a lot more of these. I need to get some Ziplocs. I mean, I like to make sure they're closed well versus these are not. But I just think they're so beautiful. Um, there's, what, eight here. So I leave these right next to the tub. And then if I'm in the tub and I happen not to have something with me, I'll just grab one of these. So there are those. And there's got to be a really cute way to display these. I think what I'm going to have Anthony do is mount several, um, like almost picture frame. You know, you you send your pic, you send your, you set your picture over the edge. You don't have to nail it in. It's like a picture frame, and hopefully that will hold my bath products. We shall see. Here is a pink flamingo. Not quite sure what it's going to do. Probably turn the water pink. Um, just really darling. So there's that one. Here are two bubble beards. Um, yeah, they came in a box. I haven't tried those yet. They smell very patchouli-ish, which is not a favorite scent of mine, but I always love bubbles. So... And then this one is like a Chinese game. I can't remember what it's called. You're supposed to go back and forth, back and forth. This is a bubble bar. Um, and it does not smell like the Magic Fairy one. So it has it does have a, a fresh smell, fresh scent to it. Here is a, um, this is a Mum reusable bubble bar right here love it I used to have all of them at one point I think I gave them to my mom I told her do not use them all at once or you you will have a big mess so then these two are from fortune cookie soap so I'm going to set these aside and let's keep going on the left okay now on the floor I have a whole bunch of products here is one that I reviewed. I need to do this. This is a golden handshake hot hand mask. I need to do a tutorial on this. I know a lot of you have wondered what it does. It's not sticking exactly. You pull it off, put it in hot water, and you immerse, you immerse both hands in it. And I'm going to try my feet too. It couldn't hurt. Um, the only thing I was leery about was the all the glitter on top and he said don't worry the glitter is made out of seaweed I said okay so anyway there's that one I'm gonna throw that in I think with the other bath products that are on a stick so we've got to get using this stuff it's crazy okay now we have bath highs crazy I have fortune cookie soaps. Um, we're gonna have to do those separate. I have bomb your body. Those are gonna have to be separate. This is my garbage can. I did um, a rant video. 
I have a Big Mac review that I need to go over with you. Um, I'm going to spend most of tonight trying to find a rollerball, which I cannot seem to find through the Yush, Lush UK. I've tried to check. Uh, I've tried to Instagram, what's her name, I think all things Lush UK, and I can't seem to get a reply from her. I know that she had a rollerball, they're beautiful, they're half purple, like I said, they're half purple, half purple, half white, and as they, they roll, as they're in the, the jetted tub, I'm going to go fill the tub up soon, because Anthony's in the bed. If I fill it up with really hot water, it should last for quite a while, and then I can throw whatever in. Now, this came out of a box. This was um, Three Heart Soap Rose. So this is Three Heart Rose Soap. I'm I'm a little leery on this. This is from a box that I ordered I was not real happy with. She sent me a refund. I never down a company, but I just was not happy with that company. So, anyway... Okay, so then we have down on the floor. It's crazy. I have two ladybug. Um, two. These are from the UK. I wasn't sure if they came in my press box. I don't know what's going on. I've been writing and writing and writing to them. Please send me a press box after the thousands of dollars I've spent on lush so i need to wrap these up in the kitchen i'll probably take them out after the video is over so there's those here is a small bright side it's really cute anthony loves these it smells very lemony um here's an able bath bath bomb um here are the three carrots better much better than the one orange one, the one, one, or the three orange ones. I didn't think they smelled as good as these. And these smell absolutely fabulous. So, probably what I was thinking is, I would, if I did it, I would put it in an old sock and crunch it up that way and let the water run through it so I don't have a big mess in the tub. But they're really, really cute. I may just make um, some kind of lush wreath I was thinking of. But we shall see. So there's the three carrots. Um, here is the frozen bath bomb from Christmas. And it's still out. It smells really menthol menthol-y when you get it in the water. If you have a cold, it's perfect for a cold. Let me wrap all these up. Here's a think pink. It's kind of broken. Um, here's another thing, pink. So, there's another thing, pink, missing the cookie, the little, uh, candies on top. These are bath bombs. And here is a, this is a Mother's Day something. It'll come to me. Yeah really pretty it's green and yeah this is not the twilight so there's that I need to wrap that up okay and then all of the bath oils I'm dying to try Anthony was really tired he wanted to go to bed here's a thing pink um I wrapped it up myself just the only way to keep them fresh and they look better that way so um and then I have a, this is a, what is it called? It's a cherry uh, massage bar, cherry something. Anyway, it's scored, or you can just use a little piece. That might be even too much for a jetted tub. Now, you guys know that I like to use the entire product. Not going to happen in a jetted tub, or you can't turn the jets on. And what is the point to get into into a jetted tub if you can't relax and put the jets on? So, anyway, here is the cherry. It's faded off the back. You can't see it anymore. I can't remember what it's called. It'll come to me in a minute. So, there's that. Okay, and then here are the two Humpty Dumpties. Now, for some reason, I was seeing somewhere on a Lush catalog that there was like a fried egg inside. I was like, what? Anyway, I have two of these. 
They smell fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I don't know what throwing two of these would do. It probably wouldn't hurt anything into, because since they're bath bombs, into our tub. I have a separate mop that's clean that I mop the tub out so I don't have to hurt my back. So there's those. I need to wrap those up. Here, whoops, I dropped one of my, here is a green bubble rune they sent me, um, it was a mistake, um, so he uh, got it here in the next day or two, you can see the glitter on the top, so there's that, and then here is two Yazoo and Cocoa bubble runes, these smell like Delectable chocolate. Oh my gosh, it makes you want to eat it. I'm not kidding you. It smells like a mixture between chocolate and lemon. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. If they weren't bubble bars, I'd put them both in at the same time. So yeah, that's what those look like. They're really pretty. They almost look like Oreo cookies. So there's those. Oh, and this is called Happy Blooming. That's what it's called. Happy Blooming. Yeah. So, came wrapped like that. That's why I like the UK products. They usually come wrapped. Okay, and then here is a Dream Cream. Here's a... Anthony wanted one of these. This is a black blueberry balm. They had this at our local store. It came from the Lush UK. Here are two of my favorite products. I need really need to try these. I love them. The sunflowers. They smell so fresh. Bubble bars. They smell like flowers and like um, fruity. But they are ginormous. Look at the same size as my head. It's crazy. Anyway, so I don't know what I will have to put in the tub. We'll just have to play with it and see how it goes. So there's those. Let me wrap those up. Here's a thing peach. This is the massage bar. Here is a yummy mummy. And this smells like grape, I would say. Um, shower gel, the mother of all shower creams, packed full of fair trade, organic cocoa butter, and Tonka Absolute, to feel absolutely blissful in the shower. So there's that. And to me, it smells like great. Ooh, that's on my nose. A little bit, yeah, smells like great. So there's that. And then I've got all the bath oils. I was surprised at how small they were. Here is a Z Time bath oil. Really small. Um, it may take may make the bathtub too greasy. Here is I think this is Tenders and Night. Um, I know there's another one, but this is a bath oil. And then here is a U MMM Melting Marshmallow Moments Bath Oil. They're tiny. So there's that. And these are You've Been Mangoed. They smell wonderful. There's two of them in there. They smell like lime. So I don't want to take too long. Here is a Layered Cake Soap Bar. Smells fabulous. Probably what I'll do is cut off little pieces so I don't, so it doesn't go to waste. So there's that. And then here I have two of these. I cannot remember for the life of me what these are called. Um, I have the paper written down. I had the paper down. You guys don't need to remind me. It'll come back to me. You guys know I know all my bath products. Anyway. So here is a Guardian of the Forest they sent me free because, oops, because of the green fun they sent me instead of my bubble room. Why would I, why would I apply for 
why would I buy a box from the UK when there is a Lush store four miles down the road? Well, the reason being is that they don't have all the new launches. It's really disappointing. They don't have any of them, and they don't. It doesn't seem like they ever come up with them. Anyway, so here they all are. These, this is this is really leaking. Anyway, so these have red hearts on them. Not sure what they do. They smell kind of powderish and really feminine and nice. So I would probably throw two in at once just to use up so many products. Um, so I can move on and order it even. Here's one of my favorite soaps. This is the, um, it smells just like orange. Oh my goodness. I love it. I have one in the shower now. I absolutely love it. It smells so good. It smells like lemon thyme. Clementine oranges. So there's that. It comes in a half size. Um, here is a tea bag. Um, it's called Bath Dunk. Um, I think it's called Tea Time. I don't know what's inside of it, but yeah, it says Bath Dunk. Just want to dip it back and forth. You don't want to leave it in there too long. Like tied around something where the water comes out, you'll have bubbles everywhere. If you turn the jets on, so and then I have one or two other products on the floor. Here's a sultan here's a sexy peel soap they sent me as a sample. We've all smelt that. And here is another Bohemian soap they sent me as a sample. And then here is the this is the mother what is this? Oh my gosh. I've got to look this up. I have two of them. Anyway, so there's that. That is everything that came in that one. Now, I have my same paint box. Let's go over this real quick. And then I'm going to bring my handy wrap in and wrap all these up as this is uploading. Um, so, yeah. As soon as this comes comes to me, I will let you guys know. I'm sure you guys all know what it's called. It just slips my mind. I have so many products. Okay, so here is the this is the Alien Fun. I think it's really cute. If I had some kids, it'd be fun to put it, throw them in the tub, and give them all a little squash of it, and have them make their own little animals. But anyway, so there's the Alien Fun. And then they sent me the green instead of the green bubble room. Got right on the phone. He's like, no problem. I said, do you need me to send that back? He's like, no, don't worry about it. More hassle than it's worth. And then I got an MMM in here. And then in a different box, I got the red fun. Never tried that. I hope it doesn't bleach your skin. Um, we shall see. And then I have a pink fun that came in my tickled pink box. Everything was pink. came in this box. So, and then I have the, this is the, um, it smells like, what is that food you eat at Christmas? Oh my gosh. Marzipan. Marzipan soap. And then here is the Sultana of Soap. Here is the Comforter. Here is the Twilight. It has the stars on it. It's not broken. The Twilight. A couple more Think Pinks. Here's the Think Pink. We need to wrap up. I'm going to bring the handy wrap in here as this is uploading. Um, Here's another layer of cake soap. Here's a rock star. Everything in here is pink. And here is a candy. What are these called? Um, candy bar or no candy something. Anyway, so and then here's a Shakira. They smell awesome, like jasmine. Not sure why that's in the pink box, but anyway, that is everything in the pink box. And then I have plenty more in the bathroom.
So I just threw these in. The, the MMM came. The Melting Marshmallow Moments. There's no bath oils that came with this one. And then it came with a Dream Cream. And then I was hoping they would have the Rose Argon. But I don't see it. So, yeah. It smells nice. It's just plain. So, anyway. There is the Think Pink. Okay. So now, I'm getting close to the bottom of Lush. Um, I'll have to wrap that up in a minute. About seven years of fabric. Okay. So then we have some more Lush here. Or Lush here. I reviewed the two bags outside. This is for all my subscribers that want to see how much Lush I have. It's crazy. So I'm going to put all of these in my Think Pink for the moment until we get our shelves installed. And then I have an entire, in the shower, I have an entire, it's called, it's called Pink, and it's, it's a little plastic with the holes in it that drain out. Anyway, so in the bottom of this, I have a broken Easter egg. This probably needs to go. This one's called um, Large Yellow Egg. You can hear the stuff shaking around. You can see it falling out, falling out. And then in the bottom, oh, I have in the bedroom. I have three or four of the horns, the unicorn horns. Anyway, this is from Bomb Your Body. Really sweet. Just love she's just Anne is just a sweet lady. There's um lavender in the bottom. You can throw them in or you can choose not to. So yeah. She puts it in a little bag and gives you your choice. And then um I have a shoot for the stars. The space girl. Uh, right there. I have a, this is a So White, and then I have a, this is a Cinders, these are, these last forever, and then I have a, um, this is a shoot for the stars. So that is everything in this bag. Okay, so now the next bag is ginormous. We'll pull this up and we'll go through it real quick. Anthony loves these. I buy one every time we're in the store. Here's a bright side. Here's a woohoo. I don't think they carry these anymore. I can still put my thumb through it. Here's a Phoenix Rising. It's kind of discolored, but it still works. Here's an Intergalactic. Here is a Mumkin. This is wrapped in Christmas paper, so this is... This is a hottie massage melt. I used to use it on Anthony's back. He didn't love the smell, but it worked. I would actually heat it in the microwave really quick. I didn't want to melt it. I would wrap it in a few towels and heat it up. Anyway. Okay, then I have massage bars. Here's Tender as the Night. This one is a manly one. It smells, it's got chocolate in it. It smells just like men's cologne. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I could, whoops, I could be tangled up in a man. I told my husband that. I said, Do you want a piece of action? Put some of this on. It smells fabulous. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. 
So, I don't want to make this video too long. We are at 29 minutes. Okay. After this bag, I'm going to stop, and then we'll have a part three tomorrow. Here is a per cup. I have the pink one too. It's made out of, cho out of coffee. Massage bar. Here is a Tucka Tucka. They don't even make these anymore. But kind of why I don't want to use it. There's a Tucka Tucka. Yeah. It kind of smells peculiar. These are all massage bars in the bottom. Here is a This is a melting marshmallow snowman. Yeah, really cute. I like to pull these off. You can get them out before you get them in the tub. Ooh, we got chocolate under my fingernail. Gross. Yeah, they just make the water brown, but they smell fabulous. They smell like marzipan. Okay, then we have a Sarah cauldron. We have a It's a sample of soap. This is the. I'm not quite sure what this is. It's a sample of soap. And they didn't mark it. So I'll have to find out on that one. Then on the bottom, we have a bright side. I have several of these. We're in there in the tear shop. Teardrop shape. I have a you've been mangoed right here. Love it. You can use it just without the shower. I have one in my shower now. It's from Kiss Meow. They're great. I love them. Your skin is ever dry. I've even washed my face and put it on at night. Put this on. Okay. So the last product is the reindeer, and then the golden star right here. A little worried about rest messing up our tub. So that is everything in that bag. Let me get the soap out. Put everything back in. So these are all massage bars. I had some range of my reason. So I'm going to stop with this video since we're at 29 minutes, okay. and then we're going to need a part three. Crazy. Part three will be kind of more other companies like Kiss Meow and Bomb Your Body, and I, have, I can see some some Lush products in there. There's there's bags against the wall. I think I reviewed. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to get this uploaded. Yeah, I get these wrapped up. Oh, wait. Still have this basket. This is the butter basket. The butter, um... Bath Bakery, she's wonderful. I need to place another order, so there's that. And then I have a Fizz Banger, Fizz Banger, so white. And then this is a Yazoo, this smells like yam. Yeah. Smells just like yams. Wow. I don't know how they do that. That is crazy. And then I have, oh, you guys are going to love this in the bottom. Somebody wanted to buy one of these. I was like, really? I don't think so. This one is a pink. Oh, this is the this is the yoga bomb right here, and then I have two of the big heart the lockets, and then here is the 
angel marzipan. The marzipan shaped angel. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will get this uploaded. We have a lot more to do. We'll probably have three parts of my Lush video. Please don't keep asking. Just go back and watch the videos. They keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I have fortune cookie soaps I need to review. Kiss Meow. I have tons of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go out and grab the, when this is uploading, the saran wrap so I can wrap these up so they don't dry out. They're too expensive. And then I have two bags against the wall. I assume I went through these. I went through all of these. I have to assume. Yeah, this is the star. This is the where is the granny takes a dip and a bubble bath. Here is the other one that I bought for Anthony. He loves these, never uses them. He kill them, they're so expensive, ten dollars. Yeah, so I reviewed all these. This is Granny Takes a Dip. This is... So, let me get this uploaded. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. I can't go on any longer. I will pass out. So, yeah, we will have part three. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a thumbs up. And, yeah, comment below if you have any, if you have any comments on that really rude suggestion or really rude question. I've never had anybody ask me if I was a transgendered woman. Come on. I mean, I told my husband, I said, if I have to, because I don't want to, I will actually pull my shirt down. I mean, come on. Do I look like a transgendered woman? Are you kidding me? I mean, I wear this, I wear this pink, I love this top, and I wear the pink and the bra underneath of it, and yeah, I'm not going to show my my boobs to everybody because one person mentions it. It's just crazy, but I've been asked some really crazy things in my life of blogging, but that that just tops the cake. It just I wanted to stop that day, and Anthony said, "You're not a quitter. You're not going to quit. I'm making too much money. I'm not going to do that. No way. Forget it. Not for somebody. Anyway, let me get this uploaded. Love you all. Sub sub sub. I will subscribe back, and I have tons of videos. DIYs. We are going to go shopping tomorrow at Pier One. I'm going to buy some chairs. I'm going to buy some. I'm just. I'm tired of. I want to go shopping. I'm going to go shopping with Anthony. We went shopping today. So I'm going to go shopping tomorrow. I have thousands in the bank. Why don't I go shopping? I never go shopping. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shop. So yeah. We're going to get our living room situated. Um, our bedroom's just about done. I was supposed to get a pink butterfly. I don't know where it is. Yeah, so my bossy box should be on the way. Um, my boxy charm. Anyway, whoa, what am I doing? And oh, by the way, I smoke when I'm stressed out. So yeah, now you know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.